fatty tissue is not just a fatty issue. Uh, that's basically my obnoxiously clever way of saying that fat shaming and fat hatred and fat fear is not something that only affects like legitimate fat people. And I think sometimes it's easy to think that way even if you're someone who doesn't think that fat shaming is a good thing. But really it's something that affects all of us and makes most of us feel like crap. Because all this body policing, all these ideas about bodies and beauty and size and health means that we're all constantly thinking about ourselves as bodies and as failures. Because if you are a legitimate fatty, if you're overweight, then obviously you should feel like shit. And if you don't, then you should worry that you're gonna gain weight. You should, you know, keep on top of that. Maybe you could lose a couple of pounds to give yourself some sort of, you know, margin of error, a little insurance policy. And even if you are skinny, you know, your butt could probably be a little higher. Your stomach could be flatter, your arms could be more toned, whatever. Because if you get fat, that would be the worst thing that could possibly happen, right? You're gonna be ugly, which is also a horrible, horrible thing. And uh, people are gonna look at you weird, people are gonna think you're disgusting and lazy and stupid and all these things. And you're gonna be super unhealthy, you're gonna get blood clots and diabetes and heart problems and you will get chlamydia and you will die. I'm not saying that being fat can't suck, some days it totally sucks. But a lot of the things that make being fat sucky are about society, they're not about me. When I feel insecure it's because I've been told that I should feel insecure. If people judge me for being fat that's because society has taught them to judge me for being fat. And the fact that I can't buy clothes in any store is definitely not about me, it's about what's out there in the stores. And as far as I know, pretty much everyone has days when they feel insecure about their body because we've been taught that our bodies are problems to be fixed. Regardless of the actual size of your ass or your stomach, you're gonna be nervous about belly rolls or weird folds or muffin top because we're told that those are actual significant issues to care about. We get hung up on the number on the scale and how our bodies look instead of what our bodies can do and how they feel. Don't get me wrong, while I hope that fat activism will be a thing of the past sometime in my lifetime, I do think it's awesome and important and it's great that it exists, but sometimes I feel like we get this idea that fat activism and body activism is something that concerns fat people. And it's not, because the society we live in, the discourse that is around us, creates anxiety and unhappiness in all of us. It makes us limit the life we lead, it makes us limit the things that we, we think we can do and the things that we do do, and that's wrong. I want everyone to feel good in their body and about their body. I want people to be happy. I want people to question the things that we're told about our bodies, about each other's bodies, about health and about what beauty is. If we start questioning those things, then yes, fat people will probably get to feel better about themselves, but I think everybody will get to feel better about themselves if we're not constantly told that being fat is the worst thing that can happen, that gaining 5 or 10 or 15 or 50 pounds is horrible and will condemn you to a life of unhappiness and unhealthiness and ugliness and being an outcast and all those things. If we can change that conversation, if we can question those truths, we can make a difference. This matters to me, this is important to me, this concerns me, not because I'm fat, but because I'm a person.